Now, the next feature that we're going to cover from this the Summer 23 release is Refresh View API. So Refresh View API allows you to refresh components, individual components, without having to refresh the whole page. This is kind of equivalent to force refresh view, which was also a, a very much requested feature. What happens is that it was released before the uh, res be before last year's survey went out, and that is why it is not on the results because it was already delivered. But we know it was um, it was very much requested by developers, and that's why the product team decided to work on it. So getting back to the Refresh View API, um, it's like force Refresh View, but it works slightly different. Because in this case, if you want a component to be refreshed when it listens to that event, you need to register a Refresh Handler. It's like more controlled, OK? Um, also, it has more flexibility because as part of that refresh process, you can add a, call, a callback method, something that is going to execute after the refresh has happened. And that was not available in force refresh view. There are also some status definition that you can use to have also um, like more control of the different phases under which your component, your component is, go is going. And uh, and yeah, and something, sorry, uh, and something important is that the base components, LWC based components, such as lining data table, lining input, et cetera, are registered for refresh. So if you fire a refresh event, the base components that you're using are going to, to refresh by default. Okay. Um, so, for this, um, I don't know why I don't have a demo slide here, but it should be here. <laughs> so let's go to LWC recipes again, and let's take a look at the demo. So in LWC recipes, you're going to find another tab, which says refresh view. In this tab, this is a base component, which is a list view. And then this is a custom component that I have created. And here in this component, we are allowing to create accounts. And when the account is created, we are dispatching a refresh event. As base components are subscribed, this component should update automatically. Sorry, my camera switched off. Let me... I'm having problems with my camera. One second. Okay, let's use this camera instead. Um, I got a new camera, <laughs> but it doesn't work <laughs> very well. Hope that you can uh, hear me and see me see me correctly. Okay, so uh, I was mentioning that this component here is going to refresh because it is a base component and also this one because I have registered the component to be refreshed. So let's create when account, for instance, we are going to create the Apex Hours account and take a look at that. So the list view was refreshed and also this number was refreshed. So let me show you how the uh, dispatch works. So basically what we do is to import refresh event from lightning refresh. Okay. And then once the account has been created, we dispatch that new refresh event. That's okay. And then if we take a look at the code for this component, this component, I recently added it and is not on the main branch of LWC recipes yet, but it will be soon. Okay, it's on a branch that I'm working on. 
but uh, let's take a look at it. We can see the committee here. Okay, so this is the component that gets referenced. So what do I need to do to register for a reference? I need to import a register refresh handler function and also an unregistered one. And I need to register in the connected callback and unregister in the disconnected callback. And that's it, that's that way. Um, once uh, the reference event is listened, the handler that you define here will be executed. In my case, that reference handler is refreshing Apex to retrieve that uh, number of accounts from the backend. I see a comment on the chat from Thomas saying the numbers don't match. 18 is in list, 19 in the component at the bottom. Really? <laughs> I didn't realize that. Actually, I don't know why, because let me see. Here I'm um, retrieving that number with get uh, with select count from account with user mode, which should return the same number as the list view. So I'm not sure why. I cannot tell you right now, but um, I will take a look at it and add maybe a comment in the video, okay? It it must be some permissions we are glitch that I cannot think of right now. There is another question on the chat. This time it's from Rishant Kumar. And the question is, will the refresh event update standard components too? Yeah, 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 we have just seen that. So for instance, let's say that here I create an account which is reshunt, okay? Take a look at this component. This is a standard component, okay? It's refreshing. Now we have 19, so it refreshed. Okay? Fantastic. So again, if you want to take a look at this code now, it's on a different branch, but it will be merged into a lovely recipes very soon. And I also leave you here the documentations and a video.